Right. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so cool! Get ready to haul ass. Cool! Oh, we are toast! Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department! Uh, so what should we do? Alright guys, I'm back. Sorry, I had to pause it. My freaking my dog was messing with my cat. He was hurting them. So I know what to do, this is so fun though. This ancient door is no match for the next magician. Let's find what we want and read it. My powers only go so far. Now, see what the principal office is room of. Fancy dark crap. He must want everybody to know he has money. No taste. No taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking box burn in his office? Yes, if only the principal had a name or Picasso, he used to still be in Blackwell. Eat me. I'm going to pull for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair? This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find some clues about Rachel, Kate, Nathan, anybody. I'm on the case. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy as me. Two more miles to go. But I certainly can't use this. Why? Tom Louise. Where? 
This asshole has a spotless record. Anthony Prescott continues his family historian historical legacy at Blackwell Academy with with record and a variety of activity, including work with the Arcadia Bay Homeless Fund. Nathan is also popular with the students and faculty. Okay. Like I'm not gonna read my own personal file. Yeah, like prefers to be called, but is considered quite attractive student. <laughs> this file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. Victoria. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. So, Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully, too. Shocker. Is that everything? Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad, Chloe. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. Max? You better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step-troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott III. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just a crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa. Listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. It's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, superheroes. Hey, yes. superheroes. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. But we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our film, let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. If the powers are best friendship, I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This'll chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Frank knows things about Rachel and he might talk if he's been paid. Right? You are super mass. Yep. And with the leftover dough, I'll take you on a road trip to Portland for the day. We'll stock up on tasks, beer, weed, donuts, donuts and books from pals, and strip clubs. Kidding. But you never know. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> I 
feel like shit for taking that money. I'm not going back. That English look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool was ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. We deserve a little mindless fun in the water. We're done for the night anyway. We're rich, and nobody busted us. So? Yep. Splish Splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. Chloe's so psyched for girls in my house, so I better follow her evil plan. Boys or girls? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna see it. Oh, I'm done. I don't know if I say this, but... Boys, of course. Figures. Perf. Let me check to see if the pool's here. I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit. I'm done. I guess I should consider this evolution. Dana, I know I'm not a but so care about you. Boys locker room and right. No way am I touching Zach's jersey. Zach is really careless. Doesn't he know what happens when I'm around? Betty developed that in Jefferson's class. But why? It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right? This must be for training kids. Nice to know Victoria loves something besides herself. Welcome to 1950. I bet you do. That's funny. Max is a feminazi. It's crazy. Man. Okay, uh, uh, I don't know what that says. This one is almost empty. The guys must like that thing too. Max Caulfield, moral adventure. Or self righteous hypocrite. Rose will be Rose. Where did she go? Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the Ours don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light! 
And what light? I don't see the light. In case I run out of air, I know where it's up. I don't even know where the frick is the light at. I think the light is over here, I think. I don't think anybody's ever around here. I hope. Just when I thought it was safe to go back on the water. Uh, light, uh, light. Can't even find it. Looks like I'm the Vortex Club bouncer. Decisions, decisions. Okay, she's a freaking bouncer. The Vortex Club. Sweet. But I don't know where the frick is the light. It's probably in here. There has to be a control panel for the light. Yes, we get it. Honors. So this is like 2013 maybe? And don't even think I'm gonna make another one new. So, the big plan is... win. Aw, look at the baby Halloween pumpkin. Done. Hello. Now what, Chloe? Time to do or die, Max. Oh yeah, baby, it feels like a hot tub. And with my cash dash, I'm queen of the world. Bow. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie. Okay, you asked for it. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. I'll just rewind and help you need. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. Of course, she's laying on her back. I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not some chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like love of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. <laughs> Not that time. But that's because you were there to kickstart my power. So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me you ever discovered your power, right? Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. Oh. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber. Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have black logos all over you. Like Warren. 
Uh, you're the... I don't say Warren. Warren is nice. <laughs> nice? Ouch. That means friend zone. No, he's really cool. It was so sweet when he stood up to Nathan. But I haven't told him about my own mind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting called in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, Otter versus Shark style. I uh, think I've had my cool experience for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. Man, she looks stupid whenever she's swimming. Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Hi! Hey, where am I gonna? Move, Max! Don't waste your power on getting busted! Are you going to come over here? Hello? Anybody there? Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. Serious. I heard something over here. Who's here? I got, I got a flashlight and a stick. You're so invisible. What's fail? I'm trying to beatbox, but I can't. It's like a beatboxing. Oh, actually, I don't know how to beatbox. <laughs> I don't know what time it is. 
and it's like, I don't know. What time is, is probably, oh, 7.58. Always remember this moment. Hello! Oh, no harm. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We were just skid mark on that one last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school at Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school and town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. I could find Rachel and pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up, but I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the school girl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. Last night was only the tip of the iceberg. I have to admit, it was pretty cool to take over the Blackwell gym. Yep. Today the gym, tomorrow the world. We need to step it up. We still have to be careful how I use my power. I don't want to get stuck in time. Now. I don't think I'll be blushing today.
Wow. I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. I could have hid in the closet and then David wouldn't be on my case. I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? Yes, but sadly we're not kids anymore. At least you can date now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover boys. So, he never really told me if you had a serious boyfriend while I was away. Not serious. Hella stupid, usually. I went through a boy toy phase. Among other things. I can't see you with any of the guys around here. Because you have a good eye. That's why I was so glad Rachel came along to rescue me. Sounds like you totally crushed on Rachel. You would have too. Smart, sexy, and sassy. Like me, right? Well, duh. <laughs> maybe Rachel would have fought over both of us. You wish. Then again, maybe. You're a photographer and she wanted to be a model. Ugh. Still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size, but not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. Yeah, at least. You can always rewind back to your Chloe brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if you fit. Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whenever you want to try. Uh, <laughs> For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Of course I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Damn. You're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's in a girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Oh, man. That was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. Sing, so we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit shaka bra. Maybe, Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? <laughs> funny. Oh my god. That smells so amazing. Max, thank you from my heart for reaching to, to out to me. You're the only one who was there for me at school. The only one who truly cared. I have that. My father is grateful as well. You always be there in our prayers. Love, love and blessings. Your friend Kate. Hey Kate, I'm also I'm so glad you're okay. I'll visit you as soon as I can, I promise. Right. It's like when we were kids here. Check out Mad Max. Ready to fucking thrash. I'm so hardcore.
I'm not sure I want to brush. Chloe never used to care when I borrowed her toothbrush. You know, I haven't gone through a dyeing my hair blue phase yet. Maybe it's time. Please tell me, please tell me. Ah! Dang it. I wanted to do too. Dang it. I wanted to. Oh, crap, man. Well, I can't go downstairs. Only have to press X. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel! Uh, I, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. I'm gonna say eggs and bacon. Eggs and bacon all the way. Remember when you guys would sleep in until I yelled out, Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Totally. We wake up so fast. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the actual eggs and the bacon. I can handle eggs and bacon. Wow, Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. I should evolve and become a vegan, but... Oh, bacon. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Where's the eggs, man? Looks like a message. Airplay. David, this is Officer Corn. Just want to let you know your stepdaughter's car was identified near the Blackwell campus last night, around the time of the break-ins. What? You <sighs> Are you in trouble again, Chloe? Don't you sleep? Goodbye, message. I think Chloe has earned a break from all this bullshit. Oh, Chase, can you help me get this bird out of here? Where's the bird? Come on, Max. Find those ingredients so we can chat back. I keep expecting to see the sky turn red. I don't even know. Where the heck would the eggs be at? So I will guess maybe no, that won't work. Won't let me go in there. Let me see this photo real quick. This might be the one time these people are right. I don't even know where the frick is the eggs and bacon at. Or eggs, I mean. I know, I found the bacon, but not the eggs, man. Who drinks beer this early around here? Oh, man. I don't want to be famous for this. I 
of us were they. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Freaking fine. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to see Pet too, Joyce, but we are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Is Rachel okay? I'm gonna ask her, is Rachel okay? Be honest, Joyce. Do you think Rachel is okay? God, I hope so. She was, is, smart. But she always landed on her feet. Maybe I don't know her as well as I thought. Maybe Chloe doesn't either. Sometimes I feel like I don't know Chloe as well as I thought. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? I'm going to say maybe. Maybe. Rachel was so much older than me. Oh, <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what? Essentially old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, you. Only I could go back. It's not all that. Choice. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. Go sit at the table. All right. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. I guess nobody waters the plant here. Seeing you again oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, man. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Bruh. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this. I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be more dead. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about who. Chloe, please, it's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering, or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. 
I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. Don't. I'm not freaking... I do need to get into David's computer. He's got to be hiding shit. God No damn. shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try it again. I need more clues. This is bull crap, and I'll remember. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Nothing to see here. I don't remember, man. Nothing in it. I don't remember what the freaking password is. Naturally, David would buy I can even see the combination. It might be a useful password. Personal, I'm gonna see it first. Try again. Chloe can't get another gun now. Unless she steals it back from Frank. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. Maybe, man. I could try the license number for the password. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? David has been dragging his head around since 2001. Joyce might as well have, it might be a useful password. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Magic 8-Ball says no. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Worst hacker ever. No way, Max. Definitely hooked up with Frank. Why does David care? Alright guys, that's the end of the videos. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, thanks for watching.